conduction of water takes place through the xylem. Take a twig of tuberose or any other plant having white flowers. Take a beaker half filled with water. Add two drops of eosin to the water. The water turns red in color. Now, immerse the twig of the plant into the colored water and keep it overnight. The next day, the white flowers will be seen to have turned red. When section of the stem of the plant is cut, it will be seen that only the xylem is colored. This shows that water conduction in plants takes place through xylem. To demonstrate diffusion, take a glass and fill 2 by 3 of it with water. Take a disprint tablet and immerse it in water. Keep the setup undisturbed for some time. It will be seen that the tablet has become smaller. If the tablet is kept there for some more time, it will be seen to have disappeared. If you taste the water now, it will have the taste of the medicine. This demonstrates diffusion. To demonstrate osmosis, take a potato tuber and peel off its skin. Scoop out a cavity from inside the potato. Cut the base of the potato so that it can stand on a dish containing colored water. Place sugar solution inside the cavity and mark its level with a pin. Keep this setup undisturbed for several hours. It will be found that the level of sugar solution increases and it becomes red. To demonstrate ascent of sap, take a sealed soft drink bottle and open it. Put a straw inside the lemonade and suck the water through the straw into the mouth. This experiment can be compared with the sucking of sap in the plants against the force of gravity. 5. To show that conduction of food occurs through the phloem, cut a ring round the stem of a healthy guava or any other plant in such a way that the phloem is removed but the xylem is intact. It will be seen that sap oozes out from the cut area. After 10 days, it will be seen that the part of the stem above the cut area swells up whereas the part below shrivels up. This shows that since the phloem was injured, the food conduction in the downward direction could not take place. To demonstrate transpiration, take a healthy, well-watered potted plant. Cover the stem and the leaves of the plant with a polythene cover. The soil of the pot should not be within the cover. Keep this setup in sunlight for some hours. After the specified time is over, bring the setup to the room and open the plastic cover. Drops of liquid will be seen inside the plastic. When tested with a blue cobalt chloride paper, it will change to pink. This shows that the liquid is water which came from the plant by transpiration.